So I'm Devin Navy from Metogamy First Nation. It's about uh, two hours south of, or north of Sudbury. It's a uh, Treaty 9 territory. Most of us are Ojibwe. So my role in the community is mostly a business admin, so I take care of like uh, finances and whatnot. I sit on a couple committees. I'm also a volunteer firefighter, and I also take care of water treatment. Well, in terms of emergency management, it's kind of nice to see the differences between communities, like from tsunami warnings to you know fires and such different things from where I'm from, right? But like most importantly, I think like connecting with the people that I've got to connect with throughout the week was like the highlight of my week anyways. Like I built like relationships that I'll probably hopefully be able to continue on with and yeah. So I just recently got into it kind of. Yeah. I'm not a huge part of like the emergency management side yeah. but like I come in as like a volunteer firefighter and, and also in water treatment because I mean that's very important. But like we have like a pretty strong team of people that come together and put all this emergency management stuff into place. Like uh, we wouldn't have like sure we have an emergency management plan, but there's nothing to it if the people behind it can't you know make it happen, make things happen. So I think that's like our most most important thing is the people we have and that take care of this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we do. A firefighter training every, well, every Thursday or second Thursday, <laughs> depending on the season and whatnot. But yeah, we get together and go over basic exercises, keep ourselves, our, our minds fresh and ready to go. Always on the, yeah, always on standby, right? So, so about two years ago, we got the opportunity to take on uh, an individual by the name of Wilbert Wesley. He comes from an organization in Ontario that uh, is, deals with all this kind of stuff, and he really was the building block to our successful fire department because like you know without it takes a tremendous amount of work to put something like that together and we needed that person to be there full time in order to make this successful and within two years now we have an active fire department with around 20 volunteers we we uh, take part uh, the highway so we're on call for the highway any accidents or whatever we're always on call for that and also the neighboring town, so we take uh, care of them as well. My advice to Indigenous youth is to like take advantage of every opportunity that's given to you. I mean, like I never thought I'd be here, but the opportunity was given, and I took it. And like this has been a great week for me. It's, I've never experienced something like this in my life, and, and I've been to quite a few workshops, and this one was truly special. So I just I don't know. People could just go out there and not be afraid to learn and, you know.